This is the Soyuz P40, another mini phone from Soyuz because you guys seem to love these reviews for some reason. We got a 2.5 inch display with one gig of RAM, eight gigs of storage, Android 6, the MediaTek 6580, and lastly, a 1580 milliamp hour battery. So in the box, you have the phone, it comes in this little bag, you even have a peel. Quality feels nice. We even get USB Type-C this time around. And this phone costs $50. And here we get a nice little cheap Type-C cable. It's really short. Case, manual, it's in Chinese though. Yeah, it's just, okay, this is the only part that has English. A silicone screen protector and here we're nice enough to include a SIM ejector tool. So it's a non-removable back. And so you have to remove the SIM, like, wait, is that it? Oh, this is a button that I'm pressing. Maybe it's like a reset button, I don't know, but. Okay, a pretty standard SIM plus SD card combo. Put that back. All right, so the phone already comes preset up, which is kind of, always sus in my opinion, but it is what it is. And I did kind of cheat a little bit, so. As you can see, the battery is 100%. That's because I charged it before the review because the battery was completely dead. First impressions, you know, for one gig of RAM and the MediaTek 6580, which is a really old chip, dare I say, this is pretty snappy, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna set this up and get back to you. Okay, so I can't find, like, any sort of face unlock. And obviously, it's not gonna have a fingerprint sensor, too. But even if this did have a face unlock, let's be real, it's gonna work really badly. So normally, I don't show this part. But I just want to show you guys how the keyboard experience is on these tiny phones if it's like to show you guys if it's even possible, you know? All right, so this is the typing experience. It's actually harder to type hovering over the camera. But as you can see, I'm doing pretty well. So either I'm a master typer or these mini phones are somehow so optimized that anyone with normal sized hands can type. So I'm just gonna let these finish downloading and then we'll be able to test the performance. All right, so we're gonna hop right into KnifeIt. And remember guys, I only do these tests to test the raw performance of the device because these mini games really allow us to see what this phone is capable of. So if it's really bad with this game, then all it means is that you can expect bad performance over time. There's like a little bit of lag and stutter, but overall it's like, it's very responsive, it's very good. So yeah, now how about Wind Rider, which is a far more demanding game. That took, a, that took so long to load, man. It's more of a slideshow than a game. All right, let's try it out one more time. Yep. Very laggy and pretty much unplayable. Okay, <laughs> getting notifications during the game makes it even worse. Oh my god. So yeah, I would definitely not buy this phone for gaming. But you know what? Let's try one of the built-in apps. Okay, we got, we got sound recorder. Hello, this is a microphone test. Hello, this is a microphone test. Hello, this is a microphone test. All right, the mic is pretty bad, but you know, for 50 bucks, that's pretty normal, but I just can't, I can't get over how snappy this phone feels. Overall, the phone feels a lot faster than what I thought it was gonna be. That's what I'm, not, that's what I'm trying to say. So let's test the camera now. So our front camera is two megapixels. Rear camera is five megapixels. Trying to access the settings here, it won't let me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Video quality, we only get what looks like high, but you can go one step further up to fine, which is, I'm guessing it's 480p. And front-facing video go, only goes up to high, which I think is VGA. So yeah, first selfie. All right, let's head outside.
All right, front facing video. I tried to do rear facing, but it kept telling me error during recording. It will not let me record rear facing video. So I'm gonna use the front camera. So yeah. Uh, so that rear video just doesn't work. It just says error every time. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it. So, should you buy this phone? Well, to this day, I have no idea what kind of market these phones are for. Like, who, I don't know what the kind of people that buy these phones. They're certainly not, not really practical if you want to use them day to day. They're just like a cool gimmick. Like, like, hey, look how small my phone is, you know? But for the average consumer, it's, this thing is like pretty much useless. I mean, sure, it, it, you, it works. I mean, you can put a SIM in it and it'll work just fine. I just can't imagine a normal person wanting this phone, but if you want it, it exists. You know, and a lot of you guys seem to like these phones since most of my popular videos are phones like this, these mini phones, these Soyuz phones. So, um, yeah, this is how it works. This is how it's like using it. I hope this review is good enough. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.